name is Serena. Welcome to my story time. Today, we're going to be reading Night Owl by Christopher Denise. Since the day he hatched, Owl had one wish. To be a knight! Every morning, before he drifted off to sleep, he imagined himself as a real knight. He would be brave, he would be clever, and he would have many friends. It was just a dream. Until one day... Knights began disappearing from the from castle. So Owl applied to night school. And to everyone's surprise, he was accepted. Owl was an excellent student, but he had tough time with a sword. Even a smaller shield was a problem. And he had a habit of nodding off during the day. Night school was hard, but Owl worked and worked. He graduated with honor as all knights do. Owl was assigned to Night Night Watch. He was very good at his job. The other knights usually fell asleep during the long night night watch, but Owl didn't mind. All alone on the castle wall, he finally felt like a real knight. Until late one evening, it was very dark and very, very quiet. When Owl heard a strange sound. Whoosh! It sounded like a huge bird flapping its wing. Ooh! Owl called. He heard the sound again. Whoosh! 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 Ooh! Ooh! He called. Whoosh! called. Who me? said a deep voice. Who you? said the owl. I am a hungry dragon, said the, said the dragon. Owl was very afraid, but because he was now a real knight and knights are brave, he puffed out his feathers and said, I am an owl. I am a knight of the night watch. You don't look like a knight, said the dragon. You look like a midnight snack. Owl's feather trembled. But because he was a real knight and knights are clever, clever, he said, you don't want me I am too small, hardly even a mouthful. A mouthful is enough, snarled the dragon. I am all feathers and fluff, says Owl. I'm a, a great dragon like you, need something taster and more filling. How about a pizza instead? It turned out that dragon loved pizza. They talked about how each of them had hatched from eggs, how much they liked the night, and how flying was hard to explain to someone who had never done it before. They really had a lot in common. The following week, not a single night disappeared. Or the week after that, and every night, Owl patrolled 
the walls. It was very dark and very, very quiet. The owl didn't mind because it, he was brave. He was clever. And he had many friends. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Don't, for, don't forget to subscribe down below. Bye!